funding uh, for at-risk students. So um, uh, in a district like Eagle County, uh, we have about 50% um, uh, of our students are Hispanic. Of, them, of our students, about 40% of our, of our total population are English language learners. And so we have a number of students that would uh, qualify in that at-risk designation. Um, so when I visit our schools and I see the programs that we're offering, uh, because of the recent budget cuts in Colorado, we've mostly um, uh, pulled away additional services and supports for English language learners back to bare minimums, pulled away services and supports for students with special needs back to bare minimums. So we're running a very basic education model in our schools. So it's, it's kind of grade by grade. Every grade has a teacher and those class sizes are um, approaching 30, uh, which gives some concern uh, for the folks in our community. Um, what we would do with those additional resources is provide targeted supports for those specific um, disadvantaged student groups. So can we have um, English as a second language teachers? Can we have a dual language models, the expansion of that? Can we have a, a targeted supports that help our Spanish speaking students uh, gain uh, strength in their native language, but also uh, become proficient in English? Um, without uh, these additional resources, we will struggle to do that because um, we're just going to be able to offer grade by grade classes. Uh, the same thing true on the special education side. Um, we have an, a, a federal mandate, an obligation to serve students with disabilities uh, accord, in accordance with what's on their IEP. Um, so, um, uh, but that's chronically for years been underfunded. So it's, it's something that um, is a mandate, but we never have had the sufficient resources to fully meet uh, all of the services that are uh, on, on students' IEP. So um, uh, those additional funds then would also be used to look at how we serve kids with disabilities and, and what additional uh, um, speech therapists, occupational therapists, um, um, uh, special education teachers could we add to support those students. So we would be targeting these resources toward those specific groups of kids.